Hey guys, Nancy Faye here, Modern Day Pilgrim. I hope you're having a fabulous day today. Well, welcome to my channel. And to all my new subscribers, thank you. Thank you for joining my wagon train, and I hope you find value in my channel. Everything I learn, I'd like to share with you, and in turn, you can share with your friends. So thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. And to all my old subscribers, thank you too. I wouldn't even be where I am today if it wasn't for you guys, so thanks. All right, down to business. As you know, I made a video recently about a bunk bed I made in my van for my granddaughter. She's been camping with me since she's been three and a half years old. We started out tent camping and now we are van camping. And the way I had it set up prior to this bunk bed set was great. It worked out really well, but it didn't allow for us to have any space in the van when her bed was down. But since then, I've devised a new floor plan, a new setup in my van that, that allows us to have a lot more floor space, and it's a bunk bed set. I posted a video a few days ago. I'll put it up there somewhere when I make this video and post it, but uh, check it out if you haven't seen it. It's a, a 2019 Dodge Grand Caravan Sleeps to Bunk Bed. I don't remember how I titled it, but nonetheless, you'll figure it out. Anyhow, well, since then, Clem and I slept in the van for one night. It was her idea. She wanted to sleep in the van. We ended up van camping in my driveway with her new bunk bed set. She was totally ecstatic about it, but she expressed a thought. As the night went on, we began chit-chatting about her bunk bed setup, and she brought to my attention that she could not sit up completely in the bunk bed that her head would hit too much and she just didn't feel that that was super comfortable. So I feel like she has to have a space that's comfortable for her. I have to have a space that's comfortable for me because when you're in the van, you're on your bed, you're there. There's really nowhere else to go. So your space, your comfortable space is in your bed and you have to be comfortable there for the rest of the night. And if she can't sit up, well, that's a drag, right? So. I made a few modifications to my bunk bed set. So that's what I'd like to go over with you now and let you know what I did in order to allow her to have more headroom. And um, well, what it really boils down to is I lost a little real estate underneath my cot and she gained a little real estate above her head. All right, let's start on this side here. Okay, can you figure it out yet? I'm sure you can. What I ended up doing, because I love my sweet granddaughter so much, and I think it's very important that she has a comfortable place to hang out when we're in the van, just like I do. So what I've done is I took a low profile cot from in the house that I purchased for our tent let me just put that back up. And um, I've swapped out my Coleman Comfort Smart cot. Now what I'm gonna say about that is I had a little bit of post-traumatic stress disorder about it right off the bat, because I thought, oh my goodness, I, I really value my under bed storage. But if I wanna bring her with me and I want us both to be comfortable, I'm gonna have to sacrifice a little bit and that's that. That's just the way it's got to go. So that's why we are flexible. I'm a flexible girl. We have to be flexible. If I'm not flexible, then it's not going to work. So let's start with her bunk and her chair. Let me pull this out. The chair meaning the back seat that was up. If you recall, I was going to keep that seat up. Well, what I've done is I've taken the table legs down to the very lowest setting, the setting that allows these legs to fold up into the table. Okay, I put it down to the very lowest setting. That will give her at least two or three more inches above her head. I think that's gonna suffice. I really think it's gonna work out well. I just want to honor her request to be able to sit up in her bed. So this is what we're doing. So instead of my trunk organizer, which I use for my clothing, everyone knows that. Instead of being under my cot, I'm now gonna just slide it under this table like this okay and that's where that's gonna stay i'm actually going to get something that's going to hang down from here whoops and it's going to cover up the uh the organizer i think i might do that anyhow one thing i won't be able to do is keep my toilet set up under the bed but that's okay there it is in a bag and it fits under there in a bag, so that'll be fine. If we need to use it, I'll just have to bring it out and set it up and that's not the end of the world. Another thing 
that's my Blue Eddy. If you recall the video I made a while back that talked about this battery, it has a flush top, which means the handle, the handles fold down into the unit. It allows this battery to sit underneath my cot. I'm so thankful for that because where would I put it, right? It has to have a place because it's not sitting out here. I'll tell you that. Up here is my Jackery. That's my Jackery 500 and you see it has a handle. Well, that unit will not fit under this low profile cot. So I'm very thankful that I have this Blue Eddy because that's where it's going to reside. It's going to power my refrigerator here. This is my Bouge RV 23 quart refrigerator and I love this thing. It's my my newest refrigerator at the moment. I had an Alpacool C20 but it took a dump. That was a drag so uh, I returned it and they gave me a refund. I was so thankful. So anyhow back to the van situation here. So now another thing I changed was I took out one of those utility gray carpets I had that covered my floor here because if you haven't figured it out already, Clemence is going to have to sit here now. She's, I'm going to have to be able to bring this chair out of, the, out of the stow and go, which is not a big problem. And she's going to now travel here. And when we get to our destination, I'll have to stow her seat and then we'll have our floor space. But it's not, not the end of the world. Oops, I just pulled this out. I'll fix that in a minute. But um, so that's another modification I made. And the reason I couldn't use that carpet was because I have to be able to um, lift the floor up. And this is where it starts right here from all of this from here to here. This is what opens up and then you pull the seat out. Well, if I had the carpet over here, I wouldn't be able to do that. So I got rid of the, that one carpet. It's in the garage. When I'm with Clement, I'm going to have to camp a little differently than I would if I were on my own. But I'm willing to make that sacrifice. I'm willing to do whatever it takes to bring her with me and have a comfortable experience with her. And I, I think it's important that she has a comfortable space. She absolutely loves van camping. She cannot wait to go. I feel like with this setup, it's going to work a lot better. I'll have a lot more leg room under here. You see my cot goes down there. Okay. And all the way up to the uh, driver's seat. And um, these right here, if you notice, these are my um, my straps. I just put them under here. I haven't tied the, the mattress down or I use those. Those are dollar store straps. They're luggage straps. I use them to secure the mattress to the frame to keep it from slipping. As you can tell, I took my three inch foam mattress off my Coleman Comfort Smart Cot. And you know that I had this custom cut for my Coleman Comfort Smart Cot because the one that comes with it is just total jank garbage. Yeah. So this is really comfortable. So I took it off that bed. It's on here. This is what we're going to use. It's going to be great. So everything is essentially the same. I just had to make a few modifications to allow us to be more comfortable in the van for three or four days, which is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be going to Michigan Adventure this summer. We'll also be going to Lakeport State Park. She and I with our friends who van camp as well. And I wanna make sure she's comfortable in this van. I mean, it's really not fair if she's sitting up here and she can't really sit up, that's not comfortable for her. So I want her to be just as comfortable as me. So this is what I've come up with. Let's go back over here. Let's go here. Okay, so what I'm going to end up doing to tie down the table, which is her bed, which is a four foot lifetime table. Remember we've talked about that. I'm going to tie this table to the anchor right here. So I'm going to tie this with some paracord to the anchor here. It's going to stay put. I'm going to do the same thing to this anchor here. That's how the table will be anchored. I also anchor in this kitchen. Well, I'll show you how I do that another time, but I use paracord. I wrap it around the kitchen, tie it through the handles, through the bottom here, and uh, comes around the anchors, both sides. This gets anchored in. It has a handle, so it's not going anywhere. So everything will be tied down and anchored in. Let's go over here real quick. This bed here, this bed's going to be anchored from the frame of the bed with with a, a really tight bungee cord. I know somebody said, the bungee cord's silly. That doesn't even work because it's so stretchy. Well, not if you stretch it all the way until it can't stretch anymore. 
you know, you just use up the extra stretch. You wrap it around the bar a couple times until it, you know, until it's exactly what you need. But anyhow, there's a place underneath there that I hook it, and then this bed will stay in place as well. And I'll actually uh, anchor it in the back to that anchor that I just showed you in front of the kitchen back there. So anyhow, essentially, like I said, everything stays the same. Nothing's really changed from my initial setup. I just brought her bed down a little bit. So she gained a little real estate, like I said. I lost a little real estate under here, but that's still good space to store stuff. So it's, everything's gonna work out fine. When I'm with her, this is gonna be the setup. This is just gonna be what it's gonna be, and it's gonna be great. And I'm just happy to be able to do this with her. And uh, flexible is the name of the game, friends. I have a ton more room under here for my legs. She's got more room for her head. My clothes will be tucked away under there, and her clothes go in there too, believe it or not. Uh, that will be covered. I will find something to do that. My fridge will stay out of the way right there. That's never been an issue anyway. And uh, yeah, and I really think it's going to be great. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to let you know I made a few modifications, and I think this will work for anybody and everybody who's looking to have two people sleep in their vehicle comfortably, uh, except one of them is going to have to be a small human, whoever's up here. Again, from window to window is 67 inches. I'm 5'2". I'm 62 inches. I can sleep up there. And it works out just fine for me. And if it turns out that, you know, she falls off the bed or some crazy thing happens, we'll just switch spaces and that's that. It's just what we're going to do. Anyhow, uh, that's all for now. I just wanted to let you know that I made some modifications. All right, everyone. I hope you're having a fabulous night tonight. It's a beautiful day today. Very sunny, gorgeous day. And uh, I hope you're out enjoying it. If you have any thoughts, ideas, drop a comment. I'm happy to respond. And I really appreciate everyone's comments on my bunk bed set. I really, really appreciate that. Those were very encouraging and supportive comments. And I just want to let you know that uh, I love you all. I appreciate you all. And I'm thankful for every one of you. Anyhow, that's it, guys. Uh, you guys have a fabulous night. I will catch you later. Until next time.